today's video, we have a new series called Hidden Histories. And we will take each video to explore a building or feature of Oakview that is often overlooked. So today's video is going to be about our carriage house. And we're gonna learn about how this building helps us learn about changes over time in the landscape. So now we've moved positions a little bit. We're actually in front of the main house, but this is a really good location to look at the farm's original entrance room. And if you look at this dark area, kind of in between the trees, uh, that is actually where the path of the original road into the farm would have went. And we can get a little bit closer to see what that looked like. Now I'm standing in the area that I just pointed out to you. And from here, you can see the faint outline of the original road and the path it would have taken. Originally, the road went straight from Pool Road and right into the farm following this path here and it would have taken you to the carriage house where you could park your carriage or your automobile. When the carriage house was first built in 1900, it looked a little bit different than it does today. It would have been a little bit smaller and it also would have looked much more like a barn. And so the only way to tell that it was the carriage house was to notice that the road led straight to it. Now with the development of the highway system and infrastructure projects, um, this road outline on this carriage house is a really good reminder of how these infrastructure and developments really altered the landscape. Oakview was once considered very rural, even though it's only about four miles away from downtown. Um, before these roads were built and these highways were built, it was a lot more separated. So building highways and construction certainly brought Oakview more closer to downtown, more accessible but it's also a reminder of how these things can also permanently alter the landscape of a once very rural area. The carriage house also allows us to talk about the complex community that existed here in the 1900s. The Wyatt family purchased and owned Oakview from 1886 until 1940, but they did not live here. They hired a farm manager who lived in the, the main farmhouse with his family who would have overseen uh, a system of farm laborers and tenant farmers who would have done all the work around the farm. So the Wyatt family lived in Raleigh during this time and they would come out to Oakview on the weekends and use it as a weekend retreat. So they would drive out here on the weekends and park their carriages and then automobiles in the carriage house. In 1940, the Poole family purchased Oakview and they made some pretty extensive improvements to a lot of the buildings here on the farm. Um, one thing they did is they enlarged the carriage house to the size that it is today, and they used it as a two-car garage. So that's why it looks a little bit more like just a garage today. They were still tenant farmers uh, working the land at this time, and we actually have an oral history from a family who tenant farmed here, the Robertsons. They remembered walking into Raleigh only a couple times a year, maybe once in the spring and the fall to buy a new pair of shoes, and they remember that walk taking about 30 minutes. So this one building allows us to talk about the development of roads and infrastructure and how that alters the landscape of rural areas. And it also allows us to talk about the many different people who lived and worked and managed and owned this land and the different uh, avenues of movement and access that were available to them. So thank you for following along and let us know if you have any questions.